Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to Dragon Block Share with me. Now you might be wondering what happened since your last episode. Someone let the freaking person I was keeping hostage out. Where'd she go? Where's the house? Here it is. I don't know who did this, but someone let her out, and I'm not happy about it. She was supposed to be staying there forever, and now she's out. That was the one thing I wanted to achieve, and it was took away from me. I don't even know who did it. Anyway. It's been a long time since I've recorded any of this. Like, seriously, it's been like a month. The last episode I put up, episode 14, I think it was. Um, yeah, I did that before March started. And then I planned to put it out, and then Five Nights at Freddy's came out. And that got me a bit distracted. Then I just couldn't think of the right time to put it out. So, you know, it ended up coming out a while ago, and now I'm recording this. But it's literally been like a month since I've recorded any of this. And nothing's changed at all. Everything's exactly as it should be. Corn's still a beach. I had to reset some of the stuff on the server because I started glitching in the walls again. The safe zone's back and I can't get rid of it. I don't know why. I don't know what to do, but I can't get rid of it. I need a bigger house. Alright, so stuff I want to do. Well, I found a freaking desert zone. There is it. It's over there somewhere. I call it Wasteland. So over there I can go fight Radids and Sabobids when I went for what I want. Um, I don't know when I want to actually do that though because I'm not too bothered. Um, there is some things I want to do though, like actually get decent materials, get diamonds, you know, actually get cool stuff, that kind of things. I need some more mods to server, maybe I'm interested to know. I need the new Elemental Creepers mod, I can't break any of this, can I? No, I can't. Safe zone! I hate the safe zone. Anyway, yeah, I need Elemental Creepers, which is interesting. Because they can make a real mess of the place. Image what will happen to that village if they get in there and they, they start their crap. I'm going to go visit Corn. You're now in a safe zone. That's great. That's great. I hate being in a safe zone. And I think today I'm going to try and get some of the main actual story stuff done. Just for the sake of it. Just because it can be done. I feel like I should do it. And then I'm going to try and do more wizard drain whatnot. Because I'd like to learn some magic. Been interesting. I don't know how... He's still throwing potions like a bitch. Thank God you don't take fall damage though. Um, you left the safe zone. Do not lie to me. Your safe zone extends way over to this freaking village. Do not, do not mock me. Look, see? What do you call that? You wanna fight? You wanna go, punk? Fight me. On you go. Do, do your worst. Go on. Oh, there we go. I had to turn volume in because the volume is really annoying. It's really annoying me. Can you just die already, Ninja? You didn't stay. Oh, headband. How nice. Uh, I don't need chakra, though. Bleh. Them and their chakra. I've actually been thinking a lot about fan fiction and stuff like that and just different ideas for things like that. Is this one of those special trees? No, it's not. I don't care about it. Then. I've been reading a lot of fan fiction lately. I mean, a lot. There's a lot of good ones out there. I mean, if it, no one, if you haven't read fan fiction before for animes, it's definitely worth a look. You got a lot of crossover ones. It's really awesome. I found one where it's actually, well, the guy's planning to put it in different sections, but it's basically where there's two gods, one of chaos and one of order, I guess. And the idea is that the chaos one created the big bad guys from four of the big animes. So One Piece, Bleach, Naruto, and Fairy Tale. So the bad guy one created the leader of the Quincy's from Bleach in the current thing. Um, Lord Zerif, the dark wizard from Fairy Tale. Blackbeard. Dinosaurs! And Namek. We're in Namek? Hey guys, I just travel planets by running. I'm that. I'm just that good. Alright, I'm going to fight one of yous. Come here. Um, what was I saying again? Lord Zerif from Fairy Tale. There's... Who else? Things going to kill me. Oh no! No, no, no. I don't want to fight both of you. I'm just going to stand here and hope for the best. Um, who's the other big bad guys? Blackbeard from One Piece. And what's the other anime? Which one is that again? Crap. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um, Madara. Madara from um, Naruto. Basically, right, he created all them. It then becomes a thing where the bad guy decides, right, he's going to wreak havoc between all the worlds. He's going to start a war. Because he's chaos, he just wants to he just wants to kill things and fight and stuff, which is understandable. The other one's like, no, please don't do it. They're brothers, by the way, as well. So they hate, well, the chaos one hates the good one. The good one do doesn't want to hate his brother. 
la di da di da Basically, the good god ends up having to unite the, all the worlds, so you get like a meeting of the four, like the leaders. So you've got from the, fir the first captain that, you know, it's not the old man from Bleach, because he died, but the, the captain that wears that pink jumper, I forget his name because it's in Japanese and I'm not very good at, well, any language. Um, it's got the five, well, it's, it's got the five cages and the guy from the Land of Iron from Naruto. It's got the main masters, like Master Markrav, Master Bob, that guy. Uh, Master Gold Digger, I think his name is. Um, the, and, like, oh, what's his name? Sting from the acting leader of, of uh, Sabretooth. It's got them all in, and then it's got um, Shanks from um, One Piece, and supposed to be Lord, the, uh, what's his name? I'm um, Dragon. Luffy's dad, but yeah, this zombie's getting bigger. I swear, I swear to God, it's getting bigger. I've been here a while, but yeah, it's a really good story. So they start off a war. It takes a lot of the bad guys, so the Chaos One can reanimate dead people, which is brilliant because it means they can bring back all the bad guys from things like Naruto and stuff. So you've got like the Akatsuki coming back. You've got the guys like from CP Nine from um, One Piece. You've got all the bad guys from Bleach, like the, oh, what are they called? The, the Rancar, I think, I can't remember how it's pronounced. And they've got like all the the Dark Guilds and stuff from, which you may call it, Fairy Tale. So you've got ones from in there, which is really cool. And it's a brilliant story, it's in the middle of doing it. You've got you get to see fights like, I think it was Smoker from One Piece versus Naruto. And... Things like, oh god, that thing's spawning them! I didn't know that! And I'm gonna finish you off and then I'm out of here. Die! Oh, oh, lots of brains, yay! I didn't need them, run. But anyway, that was story time with Ginger Shadow. I'll be here every week. Tell you a new story. No, what am I talking about? I won't be here next week. I probably will be. I'll probably be on this next week. And so, consider I'm actually back into it. I just watched my intro the music and it just gets me so motivated and pumped to play this. But yeah, like I was saying, the story is really good, and it, it just it gets so many good fights. Another one was, um, this was only in, like the prologue, he did a prologue, and then he starts off, the first place the war takes place in is Fairy Tales World, so they're going to try and take that back, because the dark guys went and took over big chunks of all the worlds, so he's kind of, the good guys deciding to force them all out and stuff. Um, use our cookie creeper, explode! Give me a cookies. Alright, don't then. Ah, here we are. Dead of night. Injured. Not ready to fight Sarum at all. Let's get started. Um, if you're an unpleasant energy, are you prepared for this? Start. Oh, God. Kill six Sarum. Easy enough. I say that, I'm actually going to find it quite difficult because my key is quite low as it is. Unless I pump it up. Unless I maybe power up a bit and pump up the jazz, you know. Okay, 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 okay. Extra render. Oh, no, no. Okay, yeah, they are, they are. That's a dark creeper. Let's not fight with that. Hold on. Cloud! Go, Nimbus! Alright, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this! They may kill me. Nah, I'm alright. Alright, three down. Yep, three down. I'm gonna go kill that dark creeper. Because why not? Dark creeper. This thing won't actually do very much. It puts out the light in the area, it's basically nothing. Dark creepers. Reverse creepers, they're a different story. They cause mass havoc wherever they go. By flipping the freaking ground up and I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I ran into here not thinking, I should have only made one spawn. Ah! I've got slowness, one of them's a boss! One of them's got a lot of HP and is regenerating. And it's making me wither, oh god! And there's fireballs, where'd the fireball come from? I'm out of key, yeah. Sense of being. Ah, there we go. I'm all good. Die, you son of a bitches. Oh, I got a hoe. Oh, no! I'm using the hoe to fight. I don't want to use the hoe. You're a hoe. Get out of your hoe. Oh, you're the bot. You're a boss as well? Oh, I got an iron sword. It, it does more damage than my fist. What is it? It's sharpness too, that's why. Well, that was interesting. So, progress. I fight. Well, for the sake of evil, really. 
There we go. That nice purple cat. The, the purple bar. Radis will arrive and try and kill you. I'm going to kill that dinosaur. Oh, God! What happened? Is this a boss? Does it say he's a boss? You're supposed to tell me if you're a boss. I'm losing key rapidly. I need to finish this up quick. Ow, 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 ow. Luckily, I'm not lo- Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, eat. All this for a bit of training. God damn it. Die. Radius will actually be easier. It was. It was a boss. It was actually a boss. Die. What'd I get? Axe, I'm breaking to efficiency too. That's pretty sweet. Points. 43 points from fighting that. Pretty good. So let's put willpower up quite a lot. Um, next up, strength up a little more. Put that up as well. There we are. Oh, Radids. Come out to play, young chap. Here he comes. Radids arrived on Earth looking for his brother, who was sent here as a baby. Well, it's definitely not me anyway. That's for sure. Hello? Are you here to fight me? I oh, know you're just looking for your brother, aren't you? Okay. Carry on. Give me your ship. Yep, just hijacked your ship. Uh, I feel really bad for this guy. He never really gets a good showing. A good story on fan fiction, breaks through the limit, Radish becomes a big hero in it. He even get, achieves things like Super Saiyan 3. Yes. Radish gets Super Saiyan 3. You might want to go read it just for that. He also kills a lot of things. And he becomes a god. And goes beyond it. Along with, like, Goku and everyone else. It's a really good story. Go read it. It's called Break Through the Limit. Now die! I'm a big fan of your fan fiction, Radis, but you need to die. Aww. Two other scenes will arrive and destroy you and this planet. You're saying this to an Arsonian. You're saying this to what looks like Lord Cooler's, like, younger self. Like, seriously? You seriously think I'm scared of your sins? You're mad, bro. I gotta take them buff. With my tie, uh, my hands behind my back, whatever. Whatever Frieza normally does. I think he fights with his hands behind his back. I'm fairly certain the smelters can grind up humans. I think. I'm pretty sure they can. Might be worthwhile trying that. Just just to be sure. That are, I think villagers might give you emeralds. If you smelt them. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, another good trick I discovered. With the Smirly, do you know you can actually take an apple, and if you put gold over it, instead of using eight ingots to make a golden apple, you can just use one single ingot, and it will give you a full golden apple. It's a neat trick. Discovered it while just toying around on Direwolf. It's pretty cool. So that's a nice one if you're playing a mod pack with your friends, if you want to get lots of golden apples. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how they've mass produced god apples yet, but maybe it's possible. I doubt it, though. Ah! We have to go through this every time. God damn you, you smelly cat. Ah! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Right, teach me how to fly. I don't have enough to. No, I've got 28. You're a jerk, you know that? Weakness, slowness, poison. He really doesn't like me very much, does he? It's like you go in to meet him and he just suddenly starts throwing shit at you. Like, literal just shit. Just to slow you down. What an asshole. I love how I give the creepers and everything easy access. They can just like wander in whenever they want. Just get in here and do whatever. Oh wait, is this house over here? Is this the one I put my... No, it's here. I put extra stuff in here as my other character. Ugh! With some XP bushes. Which, they actually give you quite a lot of XP. Pretty cool. I really wish there was like a faction modded server around. Like, maybe not with these mods, maybe a bit higher up, like 1.7 mods or 1.8 mods. But yeah, having things like Tinker's Construct and just like extra building blocks and cool stuff like that, it adds, it puts a lot more into Minecraft for me. Because I, I, I'm going to say I don't like playing vanilla, but I've been spending a lot of time on a faction server. Like it's, one, I think it's Yami server, it's MC Eden. And basically I've been chilling out on there because I discovered Yami records there for one thing and she has her own faction. Her faction along with two other YouTubers that I watch, Phoenix and Scott, her friends. Um, they have their own faction. They're actually going to kind of war with the biggest faction on the server. They went and raided one of their bases, or their main base or something, and went and killed some of the people in there while the majority of them are offline. So, 
yeah, now that faction's out for revenge on the big popular YouTuber. Which I want to get involved in. So yeah, I'm actually on that server quite a bit. I would be on it right now if I wasn't recording. Just let you all know that one for free. Come on, I want to learn to fly. Someone make the bad guys come out so I can beat them up. No, I'm going to have to punch these pigs to death. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Die. Ah, it feels so good to be the king. Pa pig fat? What? Don't give me your fat. Who the hell did this? Who is on the server? I don't even know. I know, so I know they gotta get. I know people did get the IP so they could use it and get on. Twenty nine. I'm so close. And our two piggies now be there. Could you just die already? There we are. Good hit. I need to stop pressing. Seriously? God damn it! I'm sick of killing pigs. Where are the mobs? I'm in a desert. I'm in a desert. Why are they all spawning away over the other side of the planet? Oh, of course they can't spawn over this side because the safe zone. Arrgh, I'm going back to the wasteland. Okay, I'm at the safe zone now. So now, any second now, I should get jumped by an army of mobs. And I can fight them off. And get the experience I wanted. And I'll go home happy. And I'll be able to fly. It's an added bonus. This is a really gorgeous looking land. I love the weird way it all bends. Alright, why don't I just come to the forest and kill ninjas? Like, they're weak. Why not? Ninja! Ha! Time to die. Been met with an assassin. I wonder if he's... Oh! Oh, hello. Oh, you came to help your... F uh, came to help your friend, did you? Oh, he's already dead, though. You should have ran away, Ninja. You should have disappeared into the night when you had the chance. Alright, they seem to drop a lot of headbands. Flat jacket. Doesn't give you much protection, but... I'm pretty sure it works wonders for your chakra. Shame I don't have any. Stop pressing B. 33, there we go, perfect. I should have done that ages ago. Anyway, Corin, I know you hate me. And I know you're tr trying to kill me with your poison and potions. And you literally just throw your crap at me every time I come up. But look, I need you to teach me how to fly, okay? I don't think you can hear me yet. I'm practicing this speech. Maybe I should bring him a fish. Maybe that would calm him down. No. No, I'm not giving in. No, he's going. the little bitch is going to teach me. He doesn't have an option about it. He's going to teach me. Now, you're going to teach me how to fly. Because I really need it, okay? And I really want to. Ah! How did that happen? I appear to have fallen slightly. Oh, Karen. Please don't throw your crap at me this time. Can we be friends? Please? No. Ah! For a second there, I thought he was considering it. Alright, teach me how to fly. I'm out of here. Take flight! No, it doesn't work. I need to change the buttons. I believe I can fly. I'm actually quite quick at flying already. That's brilliant. It's in here. Junk. Oh, junk. Oh, no, it's because I took a running dash start. There we are. Oh, well, this is pretty good. Better than Nimbus. Plus at 10%. Oh, that's right. If I go up to 100%, I'll be even quicker. Of course, I can't go to 100% because I'm not that strong. Um, skills, I need 6 for that. But that's fine. Okay, everybody. Well, Ninja or Sony and Guy here. I'm going to end this episode here. So, hope you have all enjoyed the show. Be sure to hit the like button if you did. Be sure to go and, well, subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you want to see more. If you want to suggest things I could do in here, please do. I said, did a bit of the story today. I learned how to fly. I discovered dynamics on earth i don't know why but it is i'll try and do more wizardry stuff next time so yeah there's that anyway guys see us all next time thank you all for watching goodbye everybody